Our names are Chris and Steph, and we live on Pender Island in the Gulf Islands in beautiful British Columbia. Loving off the land is our 365 day challenge to ourselves to only eat what we catch, grow, harvest and raise. Please help us out and hit subscribe below and we hope you enjoy following along with our journey. So we had our chicken that got uh, attacked the day before yesterday and he's uh, not doing well and definitely not going to recover so I'm going to put him out of his misery which really isn't what I wanted to do today because Steph's away and it's kind of a waste of a time just to do one chicken but I don't want to do the other ones yet either. I only have a couple hours. Yeah. There's a deer hanging out with our chickens which is a regular thing. And so I'm still not sure what got this guy. He's just hiding out under there. I don't know if you can see him, but um, I'm gonna have a closer look to see if we can figure out what got him. Come on, are you okay? Are you okay? Take him up here away from everybody to the killing cone and just have a little look at him to see. I wanna know what got him, I'm really curious. I'm thinking it's an owl. Because he got bit obviously on the head there. He's got a little wound on his shoulder. But it looks like something got him right around the head. But I think if it was a mink or an otter or a raccoon or something, there's no way you would have left him to get away. He was hiding under underneath the coop and was sheltered when we found him, so. That makes me think it may have been a bird that couldn't get to him once he scrambled to get under there. So it could have been an owl or something, but I'm not sure how he got away. And an owl too, because they're, they're pretty full grown now. So an owl may have uh, come down to get him and we've seen an owl looking at the coop before and not been able to fully pick him up. So that's what my guess is at this point. So as I got him here, the one reason I wanted to do it right away is because the other birds were, oh no, never mind. I should put him out of his misery. I was gonna say I'll put him in that coop on the deck, but he's just struggling and not doing well at this point. So <clears throat> we'll put him out of his misery. That's the killing cone, so we'll fire him up into there and let him go in peace. Okay. It's a little hard just for one person to, do that and get him in there but yeah he's been struggling the other birds are picking at him so I'm gonna leave it there because I can't film and do this at the same time because Steph's away but uh, yeah he'll be out of his misery yeah guys so Steph is away this week and she had a bit of a, a rough week had a bit of a breakdown this week with uh, everything going on and not getting a good variety of food and things so I'm going to try and make her one of her favorite foods which is uh, hot wings. I can't make ranch for her, but uh, I'm going to try hot, make some hot sauce out of our jalapeno. Uh, now we got some little chicken wings. So I'm going to try to do that. It's uh, miserable here today though, but I'm going to pick some jalapenos. But it is windy and the power's out. There's trees down, so we're definitely getting into uh, to fall here. So I just tried to do the hot sauce thing for stuff, but the power's out, so I can't. But I have another good surprise for you that I'm so happy about. Uh, she's sick and miserable. She's on the ferry back from Vancouver and all this wind, it's choppy. So she just called me, she's all seasick. Um, I've been talking to people on the forum that I'm on on Facebook for kind of homesteading things. And they've said, we may not get eggs because the days are getting shorter. And if they don't start laying now, I might not lay all winter, which I have not told Steph about. Um, but just came up here to let the birds out. Amazing. So I'm so happy, so I'm not going to tell her. I'm going to tell her that she should come up and check for eggs. And then I'll uh, I'll see if I can film her doing that. But great news. Everyone's sick, huh? That sucks. It was really rocky, eh? Are you videoing me? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta show people your ups and downs when you're sick and things, you know? You're not feel I can't be all good stuff. You should, you should, uh, I haven't checked for eggs, eggs today, you should have a look.
Are you sure? Are you sure there's no eggs? <laughs> well, it's not gonna be now. Well, we have eggs. We have an egg, <laughs> but we got no nesting boxes now. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta clean it. Oh it's just a little guy, eh? But it's happening. <laughs> Don't fall in the shit. Okay, it's so cute. Right? I didn't want to tell you, but chatting on all these like homesteading forums, people have been saying we may not get eggs all winter because it's going to like shorter days if they haven't started yeah. laying yet they may not and I'm like I am not telling Steph that. Yeah I was gonna I was looking on my Let's see the egg. too. Yeah. And they were saying it? maybe putting lights yeah. in it. Yeah Which lights and then making it sure it stays warm in there and Okay yeah. oh, well I guess I'm fixing this this <laughs> afternoon. Thanks. So we had our first big storm of the season and uh I'll show you actually we got winds gusting up to 90 kilometers an hour outside. We just moved the boat around and got the chickens locked away. Um, but we're not super hardcore, we're not off the grid, but all of the Gulf Islands uh, is without power. So we're going to have to learn to be off the grid. So we got our hot stove going, which is great. So we're going to heat up our some of our chicken soup that we had left over from our chickens last week. And just leave that on top of there. And hopefully that doesn't take too long to, uh, to heat up. So we're not off the grid, but we're kind of forced to be, and we'll see how long the power is out for. Okay, so the surprise of getting Steph hot sauce and chicken wings while she was away didn't work, obviously, is I didn't think the power was out. So we're gonna do it now, she knows about it, but uh, a couple just jalapenos, red jalapenos, some garlic that we're just gonna boil for a little bit and let that cook before we blend it up. So, as you can see, off of our chickens, pretty little size chicken wings. When I was younger, I don't know why, I always used to think the chicken wings came off like little mini chickens and that like chickens actually had bigger wings, but that's like a real size chicken. Now I know. So, just want to cut off the tips. Again, it's just kind of find those right spots. You don't want to run your knife through the bone, but find that. Take those off. Which part of the chicken wing do you like more? The leg part or the wing part? Um. Probably both. <laughs> as long um, as it has ranch, you don't care? Yeah. The, the wing part. The wing part. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Hmm. It kind of looks like a chicken wing, eh? There. And then your wing part. That looks juicy though. Yeah. There you go. Plate of chicken wings. So we've got our air fryer, which has been one of our favorite things, as we haven't had a lot of oil to cook with the first couple months. So we've got our wings, and it just goes into little kind of grill pan like that before it goes into the air fryer. Really good way to cook healthier things if you kind of want to cut, try and cut oil and all that kind of stuff out of your diet. And that'll just fit perfectly. And I'm just going to put that in for 10 minutes and then we'll check on them and probably flip them over. Some start frying. Now we'll work on our hot sauce, which has been boiling away here. And so we kind of got it down so there's only a little bit of water left in it. You can always add more later, but I didn't want to put too much in. And just kind of waiting until that garlic and the peppers are kind of nice and soft and broken down. So now we'll put that into the blender. And that, honestly, is probably even crispier than you get out of a deep fryer, too. No extra fat. Should we put some salt on there? Add some of our sea salt. This is everything. 
Do you want the first one? No, you go for it, you pick. It's gonna be really hot. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, that's too hot. I have to give it a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so excited, but I don't want to burn my mouth. <laughs> I know, it'll ruin all the other ones for you. Let's try. I think this is gonna be really hot. Mm. Okay, it's still too hot. I was impatient. It tastes amazing though. Mm. Uh, maybe push the boat up a bit more if we can the waves coming in keep an eye on it but it's probably not going to be a fun afternoon so like I expected we're now 20 minutes from high tide and that's just going right over the back of the boat so the rope's holding which is good it's not going to go anywhere <coughs> it's uh, off of the rock so as long as no big logs come right behind it or bashing against it Hopefully, oh, it'll be okay. Well, that's gonna be a nice cleaning job after this. Hooey! Ay, ay, ay. There's gonna be a lot of sand in that boat. Hey! So that's our steps right there. That's how high it's coming up right now. Brutal! That's it for week 10. Thanks for watching again. Please help us out and subscribe below. And we look forward to seeing you again next week.